So what was your first impression of The Walking Dead? What is this? <laughs> but I, like I said, I was already working there. You know, I had heard a little bit about it, you know, as far as like, the, you know, the whole zombie concept and all this, you know, and how they have a lot of fans and stuff. And um, the thing that impressed me the most about the show were the guys and the crew. Mm -hmm. I mean, great, great crew, great actors, great writing. I, that's what impressed me the most about them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even, you know, the show itself. It's about these people coming to work every day and making you feel like part of the team. Mm -hmm. And that's, it was like, I need you just as much as you need me. And let's do this together as a team and as a family. And that's the first time I've ever been on the set. Well, not the first time, but to the extent, yeah, the first time that I've ever been on the set like that before. Really? Where it was sort of united? Yeah. The students it was, it was the same no problem. Thing. Um, <clears throat> rarely does the, the main ensemble they come across a live human, you know, because it's them obviously sticking together through this mm -hmm. apocalypse. How do you come into the picture? Um, well, I come into the picture because, you know, as you know, the season ended with them coming to the prison. Right. So that's when they run into me at the prison. Okay. So that's where I come in. At. Okay. And um, it's a lot of twists and turns in this, this from what I, well, from what I've seen and from what I've heard from the first two seasons. I mean, the first episode is going to blow your mind. Even the characters was like, oh my God. So this season will probably be the best season, not because I'm on it, but because I'm hearing this from the horse's mouth, from the people that's on there. Right. You know, we, we've, this was an experience that I'll never forget. I enjoyed it. Now you know that the show is based off of the comic books. Yes. Do you know, can you tell us how much they're following with the storyline of the comics or if they're um, just using it as a backdrop? Well, from what I hear, they're following it a little, you know, here and there. But, you know, of course you have to, with anything, you have to, you know, hype it up more. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you got to break away from it because if that's the case, people know exactly what's going to go on right. or what's going to happen. You have to shock people. You know, people love being shot. Like, oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> and I have a feeling they're going to hear that a lot or see that a lot. Can you tell us um, a little bit more in detail about your character? Uh, I play a character. My character's name is Oscar. Okay. Um, Oscar, of course, he's in prison. But one thing you learn about Oscar, just because a person is in prison doesn't make them a bad person. You know, everybody makes, life, uh, makes mistakes in life. And he's just one of the people that you know, made a mistake. But still, him being in prison, you don't know if you can trust him. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see that he's a big guy and maybe likable or lovable, but in the same breath, can you trust him? Mm -hmm. So. So he obviously chose to stay in the prison after the apocalypse because it was the safest place to be? Well, that's one part I can't, I can't talk about. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Vincent M. Ward, a.k.a. Oscar from The Walking Dead. Make sure you tune in Season 3, October 14th, because we coming to you on AMC. But also check you out on LATFUSA.com, where you can see it all. Vincent M. Ward signing off. Peace.